rotate back to Dwightbo, who's in a long range 1v1, just holds the trigger, finds the kill. Dark Cover will try to keep him safe, and how about one better? BCJ walks on forward, yeah, finds the kill. Yours. Finesse good for one trade, but it's going to be required to do more than that. Not a lot of damage on the entry, but we'll be pushed back outside of Lamps. Aimer in here. Dark Cover, going to be the only barrier between both players. The spike gets planted. On the corner, go. Finesse will lock down another elimination. That's his second so far. Crashy's trying to retake Lamps. Aaron there to try to challenge, has a little bit of help. This comes down to who peaks first and with what timing. One enemy BCJ remains. only on 33 HP. Aaron has found Finesse, and Crashy's will be taken down to essentially one bullet. 22 health for him to play with. The next set will force him to continue to make a play, which he tries to, but pure find themselves in disadvantageous positions because... Again, their defense, largely their best part. Pure, able to walk right on in through the dark cover into Caboose's lineup. Psych gets the kill, BCJ another. We're gonna get Crashies though. How much can he find off this Hunter's Fury? He finds one confirmed kill, plus a bit of damage, I believe. So it gives Envy a chance here for this 2v4, but Xset also have a Hunter's Fury of their own. Finesse will read information to this player in shower, but that's mutual. And as the spike will be planted, now just comes down to, again, what can Finesse do from this angle? Almost an opportunity for a first. Has to back down, knowing there's a threat through showers. He's going to get help as Crashies has made his way forward. The recon bolt is actually right stuck onto Aaron. Shock dart, well placed, but can't get from the kill, and BCJ walks back. Now it's just down to Finesse. Running and gunning is going to be Swipe Boat. Get some damage, but can't get from the kill. Hunter's Fury going to come through, and that will be a nail in the coffin. Exit. Right back up by one thing. Here, does he check this? He is moving quickly. You see, food is looking left, right, center, inside out, upside down, and he will be able to take down the blade holding Pure. Twifo looking for the response, will find the kill. That'll be an SMG picked up, but they lose a lot of their kill potential off the blade storm. Oh, they do, though, have this general theft or at least confirmed positioning, but you're right, not having the blade storm is going to suck. They have a stinger instead which is only a minor upgrade of the three rifles available to be picked up on the envy side of things. Food wasn't carrying one of them. Trapwise triggered over towards Hooker as well. At this stage, you got to know envy need to make some rotations happen. they got to go through the teleport in just a moment. Finesse is still kind of AFK for now. Crashy, so he's into play. He's got the spike on the floor and two kills. Yes, a gun will be dropped. Yes, probably the spike will be planted now. Unless Mummy can stop this. Mummy is in possession. He can't quite see. No, he does! Just on the interior was we did. Not able to stay alive to the wall bang. Tracking dart has scouted out Aaron's position and Vanessa will make sure he confirms and with that he also makes sure he picks back. Where are they? They're gonna try to take the teleport, it looks like, for this hit, so it's only ten seconds to play. Exit need to commit to getting the spike planted, and Crashes has done well to stay alive and throw out some deterrence, but it's Aaron for three. Now the showstopper will come through immediately and he will trade his life out finding four kills in the round. Finesse for a 1v3 requirement, and he says, not interested. He'll back away, save the rifle, and he's got plenty of credits to purchase for a teammate in case that is required going into our round. DCJ oh, finds the second elimination. Crashies, we've really kind of credited him for having great no, utility. It would have to be incredible here once again, and he actually does confirm a lot of damage. Mummy, who tries to force the showstopper into the equation, only sees that output really one number, so now it's just down to one. Crashies for 1v3. And another consideration here as far as Quiet, do we no. really go for it? Well, that first kill Quiet, might make the decision a bit easier because he knows where the second is. Step for the third. Crashies for four in the round. And it why the last time that this same angle happened? Not again. Not this time. Yep. <laughs> and the hit is immediately was trying to be hit simultaneously. So Pure actually finds himself in lamps. Caboose using the cyber cage to stay concealed. He'll find an elimination and Envy will be in a 5v3 early. The spike carrier also dropping. As Mummy's allowed to exit away from showers, the slower will make sure of that. And Xset will have to force the rotation over to B. And this is one of those runs that you still go for the 2v5, you feel like. Especially if you can find an entry and kill here on the crash. You'll hear the information. Finds the first kill. Saw the weapon of the second. Nice paranoia coming from his lap. That'll make the gunfight much tagged by that. But sends out some utility of his own. The spam shots from Caboose are good. Not only for one, but a second. But pure Bladestorm response. 
3v3 situation. Showstopper still available, and that's going to be triggered out. Jumping over the top, the updraft was timed beautifully. Here goes Gintan, but he's still alive. Looking for a kill, but it will be exchanged. 2v2 situation, Weedian gets caught trying to go from the shadows, and as you called out... Also here early in our first half of map number one, NB switched to the offense. Pure coming right out the gate with some aggression. The rest of his teammates there to follow. And X set will end the exchange in a favorable two for one. No time wasted here for either team. Straight away over towards A short. And it will continue as well. We did in a pretty good position. Was being found out by Mummy. Now down to a three versus two. Pretty tagged up with two extra plays as well. And BCJ for three kills now. Only going to be speeding up the charge for the Hunter's Fury a little bit later on. Finesse as an opportunity. Has to still find two more kills. Could be looking good over towards BCJ, surviving on like one HP. Oh, but the, I was going to say, it just comes down to he's got no idea where Thwaifo is. And the timing of it to remember that the, the healing orb has been spent. And that's really what I was largely coming at. It's a huge piece of utility off the table. Now the second hit comes out. Aaron will find both some assistance one here from here. One more wide swing, run and gun, easy clap, no problem. It's wide open. So this will get Finesse a chance to plant the spike. Hold up Hooker as well. So they can't play their own post plant there, but they're also preventing Exit from using that for their own retank with Aaron down. It's an early 5v4. So they've got plenty of people actually on the site itself. Even playing aggressively. Look, waiting for Exit to maybe pop through on this lane. And they're going to be in a world of hurt in just a second here. Players all the round, frenzy in hand for, you know, players like who is it? Wife over here. That's going to be quite painful. Exchange favorable for NB on this post plant. Last members for Exit. Trying to stay alive. Pierce done well to find one, but again, defensive retake will try to be on the backside of a Hunter's Fury. It will connect onto one. A kill would be incredible, but no, it does actually deal a little bit more damage to the backside. But not able to make use of any eliminations as of yet. Again, the healing orb coming into play is so clutch. Shock Dart trying to bounce in. Not going to find a terrible amount of damage, but then BCJ spam shots will confirm. Crashy still holding a corner, and Xset looking to retake this by likely going to have to hit through elbow here. And there's going to be a wall there blocking them yep. as well. So that information will be pretty clear soon. As soon as they go to elbow. And they can't even rush them. I mean, look at the, the disconnect on Paranoia. They throw the Paranoia in, but they can't Last use it straight away. Stand. And I mean, yeah, who's going to go down? Crashers will be there to get the response. And a one versus two. We've seen Crashers with these before. The lineup is there and the clutch is confirmed. And yeah, once again, Crashies. Because even if you raise somebody, they only come back with a pistol. They come back with the same rifles. You don't actually increase the number of guns you have. Hunter's Fury did get put into there. Food heals himself back up, so it ends up being a pretty, I would say, low value Hunter's Fury. BCJ gets to come to Caboose, and we're into the 5v4. Yeah, Caboose was stuck in the right corner over by the Hookah Archway. Finesse trying to deny the re entry. Not going to be all that successful with it as X set goes 3 for 2. Just down to Hunter, 1v3. Finds the first, but Aaron ready to spam the corner. Thanks. We'll find the immediate trade, and then we'll do a little bit of juggling as far as who will do a little bit of RNG there for Weed that turns into a first kill. That's going to actually force Envy to rotate back. A number of members are low. BCJ holding the corner. He's good for not just one, but a second. They know the teleporters one come down inside. Remaining. Aaron finds the kill. Just down to Finesse. Oh. Stuck in a cyber cage, nowhere to go. Flawless round for exit. Hunter's Fury will come out. They should have one player caught in a corner, but no, not gonna connect. Now the showstopper coming through. Pure's only able to find one elimination with the blade storm. The showstopper finding nothing, but Aaron on the flank able to come through. So now Envy is trapped on the site. Forced to win gunfights up close and personal caboose for two. Now it's just down to him. He would have to get a 1v4, but will not sustain or survive. There should be Hi. no close. Not gonna happen. He's done enough. 13 a loss and a w throughout the ot so far for exit on bind we did i think he sees a pixel and that's apparently enough gets the headshot onto food the dark cover one-way smoke idea was enough for him to get a small advantage but caboose will still stick for a plant Spike no flank this time exit's retick gonna have to come from the front and dwifo's actually found another elimination so now it's down to a 5v3 and overtime is looking like a very strong likelihood Although Finesse has gotten out, is going to play a clutch spot through Finn. So, Exet still need to clear. They do well to find one. Crashy staying alive. Finesse needs to just keep his position concealed until the last wow, second. And now he is the last player, but the kills will not be there. And we will head to overtime. Of course we would. It's Exet on bind after all. He's just going to give this up. Wait for help. Try to play his life for as long as possible. He's actually used both of his cyber cages as well. So... 
He's in a pretty troubling position unless he can find the kill and the finesse. The last shot gets through the wall bank for a kill. So now a 5v4. X sets overtime. Track record has been good, but Crashy's response. 4v4 situation. Avery with paint shells able to trade back. Back and forth we go. Food paranoid. Able to stay alive. Superior orb will be dealt with PC. J peeks wide finds the kill. Now Caboose trying to finesse. Does get taken care of an X set. They clean things up. They take both overtime rounds. And that will be them up after the bind, which was not their pick. I don't believe, was it? Or was it? No util. It really is favoring that utility right now as Mummy will be contacted by multiple members of X. And how many does he get here? Two is enough for now as Thwyfer returns the favor. Can't pick up the gun. Thwyfer might not even be able to make it out alive on 28 HP. Crash is good for another. The boost gonna stick standing. for the blind PCJ trying to work his way down. Aaron mid map, neither gonna find any success. And the only drop one as they also confirmed the. And a half by into Marshall. That's BCJ that's firing in the back there. Ramp control is gone and Weezer is out of the picture. Oh, but we've got Pure, who's found a lot of value with the blade stone. You saw a world where maybe he even gets the third, but the Seekers also came into play and maybe deterred his line of sight on that last shot. But the Waifo is able to take down Crashies. That's a lot of weaponry Spike down up planted. top. That should be good for X set to collect. Aaron wants back. to make sure that he can hold this position over towards the backside of screens. While his teammates will go a little bit of shopping in play. So a 3v2 retake situation. NV is currently stuck on the low ground. Mummy's going to reveal part of his position over towards the right side of elbow. Finesse will watch one player come down. Easy for the kill. Waifo the response. He's able to get himself onto three. And that will be enough. Exit with the retake again. And limit placed as of yet. Spike will be Spike allowed planted. to come down. 3v5 situation. Resurrection is available. Yeah, and there's going to be the call. BCJ on the reprisal trying to hit the same angle. This time, food has wisened up to it. Finds the kill. Caboose waiting for the timing to peak mid map. He comes up the rope. Easy kill there. And then from behind, Avery was chasing his shadow and will get the exchange. Now 2v2. Mummy has pulled out the Blade Storm. Already made good on one kill with it. Spike, tempted to be defused. Pure is going to try to watch over the top of him. And as he Last does, Spike actually standing. gets off to go one for one. But now it's down to the timing. Trailblazer this? comes out. That's information coming through. Pure has to try to stick this. And as he does, there just won't be enough time for him to take a secondary challenge. Uh, they sit there and they say, okay. okay, no need for us to commit to B. They'll go on over to A. And as we did, has left with Viper's bit. Will not be forced to contest this from the tie ground and the right click is good. He finds himself two kills. He able to get the reload off. Boost for one. The next exchange. That's going to be good for Weeded. He's able to avoid the sniper rifle shot, but Mummy switches to the pistol and cleans things up. Envy up six to that one round with a singer. That was pretty good. For now, Exit have a decent amount of tools. If they've retake this one, Rolling Thunder, Lockdown, this is all really big for them, especially the opening kills. We did okay. Should be talking smack, and now he's done to perform. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure is. How about four headshots, Avril? Exit now have no choice. Lockdown has been initiated very quickly to allow the rest of uh, X to get here in time. Crashes is just hanging out, by the way. Nice snake bite just to slow him down. I don't think they know that Crashes is actually there, though. The slow orb is placed in a beautiful spot. Also, the Rolling Thunder coming out. We did still find the connection onto one and a second. Could he find one more? Not the case. Spike is heaven because look at Vents right now. That's Envy yeah. stacking up big. X said I thought for sure would know this because there was a flashpoint and push through for Pure with the Bladestorm to be main. They didn't see anything. You saw Pure just immediately tuck tail and run back over towards mid. But Paranoia coming out good for BCJ finds one. Spamming just to make sure there's not a second. So they know the threat is absolutely coming through vent. We did just resets to make sure his toxic cloud stays up. And then comes back through to challenge and finds one more. But now the Viper's Pit will fade away. We have a 4v3 situation. And beyond that, Caboose has been tagged up pretty heavy. So an advantage here for x -Men. If they can read this rotation, Averid good for one, but not a second. So still an opportunity for Envy to get on in. But they're still stuck just outside the B site. Aaron probably didn't need to re-swing that one, but it doesn't matter. Thwaifo will get the keep playing on polar opposite sides. Map Caboose, he's caught with his paranoia out. Thwaifo's good for one, but he's able to pull the frenzy up to find a trade. Slow orb also in the mix. Food able to help out, but Pure is there for the exchange, keeping things 3v3. Food by himself, hoping for some help. It will not be here in time. And Exit will have a 3v2 with likely the opportunity to get this spike planted. 
Actually, a huge read from Caboose to even have the paranoia out in time, considering they were faking towards A and talking about exit here. Now they've actually got control over on B. The plant has come in. One versus two. Finesse has to do it all. A couple of low HP members. Oh my goodness. We did. There was a full HP. gets taken down. And now no! maybe it's possible. It is more than possible for Finesse. A clutch situation. Three kills. A deep to A now. I think Light is going to maybe get a little bit of information. It's going to fall over the place. You be about to be surrounded. Not going to make a difference. The weapon reads is better. Mummy finds. They have to wait for a post plant. Crashies. Sitting by with Caboose, oh my goodness, this is about to happen, everyone's on the other side, and the rifles will swing in, two kills per team, Toxic Screen comes up, left. Finesse has to try and hold, can't oh. get the kill, this should be a plant from now. Yeah, Pyrrhic gets all three in this battle, high ground will be repossessed though from Envy's POV. Food the first one up, and it looks like Mummy's gonna wrap all the way around the back, trying to hit from multiple angles. Not going to use the Viper's Pit, obviously, as being fallen, but it's at a position now where Envy, it just comes down to the decision. How are you going to come right back into the pitch? Just brilliant. They find one. BCJ. Paranoia actually does connect. He's going to go right into the cloud burst, see if he can bait. It's all about the timing through the backside of it. Mummy finesses by getting on the outside, and Envy will be on 11. Just too many smokes available for Mummy. Still has to be in terms of how they've handled, you know, some of these halves so far, at least the nice beginning game. parts of it. And once again, you're going to have a good start for if it's getting the kill to Pura. TSM had to really throw their second half versus Exit, and Envy don't look like they're doing that right now. Envy look like they're in control. <laughs> Trailblazer having a little bit of issue coming around. And that was that was, all Exit wanted to do right there is hit the aggressive, the, the aggressive nature that we've kind of talked about before. It's a blade storm popped right through the rolling thunder. Get shut down. All of their ultimate presence to open aside have completely gone aside. Resurrection will be there for Caboose to come back to play. So it'll That's be a 5v3. Yeah, sure has, hasn't it? I mean, they still got a Viper's Pit, but where are you supposed to use this one? How are yeah. you supposed to use this one? You got two flashes left. Here we go. We need to get to kill. Fu cleans it up. One alive now. Aaron on 3 to 12. Can we get four? No. Nope. Defenders win. Go exit, dismantle this defense on B now. That's assuming they will be able to successfully find a few players away to get 28, 3 HP on Mummy. He's one shot away, and one shot's all it needs to happen. One, There's one guy left here as well. Yeah, Finesse will do some damage. He takes a bit of tax down, but Finesse will go down as well. And a 1v4 situation. Plant has been confirmed. A bunch of free frenzies on the floor, and we're not expecting too much from Crashies yet. But likely he will still try to give this a go because why not? Dark cover will provide him an opportunity to start moving a little bit further forward, but getting spammed down to 74 HP. And Xset should be pretty aware that he's going to be sitting in this dark cover. Yeah, the recon bolt will 100% confirm it. Now they just go to start spamming. Another recon bolt coming out. But at this point, I mean, Crashies hasn't even given enough time to even play for a kill. There's the opportunity. The pure block A will plant. Spike planted. And it will be a 4v3 for Xset. Actually, a decent kill from Crashies. That'll make yeah. the retake that much more possible. Unfortunately, though, for Caboose and Mummy, I don't think they did any damage. They just eat a nade, eat a bunch of damage, the swing through from exit, perfect. They have full flank control as well. This time around, Finesse is not going to try and flank. They've got three members alive, no time to wait. Still got one flash of food as well. Blaze wall comes up. Pure. Underneath. It's going to have some help. Time time. becoming a problem without a question. Fudo finds a couple of kills, maybe an opportunity, Last but again, you just have to stall the defuse. Dwyfo falls, it's just not deleted. He's being zoned. He's able to find one kill, but he's being body blocked. Protect the present. Is there enough time for the defuse? Yes, there is. No reason for Exit to assume anything. That means they can leave players behind and don't have to attend with A that much. It'll just be the two players. There. Everyone else is hanging out in B. If the spike comes through B main, oh, that could be quite bloody. 1v1 potentially over towards market as well. Crashies. Oh, he gets the kill. Trouble, but it's... Yep, mummy onto A right. In the hot hands, we'll actually zone off any further push through. So the only player to walk away with a kill here for Exit is Dwyfo. That's the backside of the defense. BCJ trying to work his way forward has a tracking dart he needs to deal with. Their covers will go out. Food has retreated back, and now you've got time as a problem. 12 seconds to go. Ten Both members for Exit defensively are doing all right, but Mummy doesn't lock down the headshot. Had a really easy predictive angle, and Food also drops, and 
Oh man, for a second you thought Envy were gonna do it. Now it just comes down to Caboose for what needs to be a 1v3. And as he walks forward, he gets double chowed. Now finally they go. Aaron has made his way over to Wogs. Knows there's a player nearby. Goes into the dark cover and finds the kill. And now Xset. Easy clean up on the crashies. It's gonna be a 5v2 post plant situation. It'll be a 5-1 in the score line here as well. There's really no chance for Envy here. They don't have to pick up guns. They don't have a single kill. Remaining. Like, we've seen Envy do well in some of these Spike situations. Planted. Finesse can definitely clutch up, but he Long. needs a weapon to work with. And a long-range frenzy is not the answer. Cots in there. They are getting closer. They could surround Exit. Not being caught by a ton of util here. Oh, there's the first start. What an isolation that is for Envy. The dark cover, the paranoia, but it's not going to make a difference. Remaining. The reattack comes through. Exit by the next four kills cleanly. And now into where that trap wire location is to destroy it. Now it's going to come down to Mummy. There you go. That's a, that's one way to get rid of a trap wire. Just kill the guy who put it down. So Mummy finding value on the operator. 5v4. MB finally off to a decent lead. Yep. First, first blood that we can really talk about for Envy for some time. Crashies, I think, is recognizing that there's going to be a threat coming through Tree. Gives away the glass angle, and then, oh, the showstopper for Aaron as he comes back over to a -Bain. Only able to find one. Crashies barely able to get alive. Just with 2 HP. Xset is on the site, though. And Pure, he should have seen the contestant of FNS, but decides to stick for the Cloud Burst first. 3v4 situation. Xset does have the post plant. The defense is going to try to get the long flank from food to try to make this play, but they're going to try to channel through. Pure's able to find one kill. FNS, he's trying to lock things down by spamming through the walls, but it's going to be two for two. Pure for three on the spike. It's being defused. Halfway done. Mummy able to find the kill as soon as the cloud burn dissipates. And that'll find us here in time. Timing is going to be really interesting right now because XN are going to try to rotate back maybe through the middle of the map, but there are two members for Envy that are actually here. Food being one of them. Timing is not going to be favorable here for X and Envy. Able to clear up four straight kills and the fifth crash is getting three of them. It's a bit of an entry that he can make over towards a main. Tree has been opened up also. So yeah, Caboose got pushed away. Aaron trying to contest in. Crash, he's good for one, but eventually his streak does get shut down. Food and Caboose, they'll pick up where he left off. And there may be a times for being a little bit sloppy on their executes or their holds on the post plant situation. Two opening shock darts are going to connect for a decent amount of damage. Remember, MV have struggled with pistols on this map. Let's see if they can change the tune of that for now. They are getting a decent amount of kills, but losing a lot as well. BCJ picks up a couple. Now, MV is down to two. Crash is again. Good utility coming through, but the problem is Xset have completely flipped around, so now it's just down to Crashies. 37 HP remaining for this 1v3 situation. He would have to be clean here. Spy Cam will pick him out. We did will immediately take the challenge, and that'll be X set once he's been able to do specifically ciphers. Caboose, Mummy, find the first two kills. It's a hell of an exchange. Pure's able to find one and a second. He's respond to more though, and he lines them up. Three and four. Last player right in front of him, but does he recognize it? It's gonna be just down to one. It's Finesse who's playing below him. And it looks like Finesse will actually try to challenge this. He's going to run into the better part of all three players. We did will not allow the eight. Exit back onto an eco, and that's when Envy can really make it. Oh, BCJ holds down the trigger. Rewarded with one. Running back is still going to be forced forward. BCJ is going to get a little bit of help from the corner. It's going to be weeded. Shock Dart also coming into play, but they still lose the Omen player. BCJ's last Shock Dart comes out. He can reposition, but he's on an island. He's paranoid, and... Here come the rest of Envy. Reload will not get off in time. Had to feel like an absolute calendar year between starting that reload and finishing it. So it's a 3v3 situation. Retake coming quickly. Aaron actually does connect to the head of money, which makes this more plausible. You're able to find the kill. Swipe from behind, and Pure finds the final. Exit. Get on the retake. They get on to 10 as well. Despite how long it took to reload, I mean, the damage was good. A little bit of help. It's Dwyfo who's right next door. And they're just continuing to throw shoulders. And, well, that's good for an exchange. Food, curveball. Will not find initially the second kill, but Crashies follows up. So we go two for two, 3v3 situation. Spike has made its way onto A and defensively exit. Going to have to rotate in for likely a retake. Yeah, the plan's already in. Crashies for another kill to Aaron. So that's actually a showstopper gone. So... A big ultimate that Exit could have relied on for this particular round has been taken away. Finesse on the big flank. I said the big flank is just over and just short, but it's enough that 
If you exit right now, you can't safely cross in the tree and go through the door. You might just have to play through from heaven. Odin is great for spamming down the floorboards. That being said, though, Envy aren't exactly playing super deep into hell. I mean, a couple of players are going to be diving in a little bit deeper now. It looks like Exit are getting cold feet. I don't know if the Exit are going to really try for this time. Is seriously starting to run out now. Well, they're trying to still spam through this. We did hoping someone's going to peek, but they're just not predicting correctly. And it looks like with the time fading away, they're just going to try to lock down a couple of exit kills and then likely just back out. We did might actually stick for this and try to really punish the economy of Envy, but he won't get anything extra. He does force both players still to fall. So it's a four start. And since then, it's been four rounds in a row. Food has just come alive completely in the last few rounds. The runner back obviously still waiting in the line. Food could be useless. Let's go around. There it is. Doesn't get a lot of info of it though. Fury will tag one player. PCJ's good for one, not gonna get the second. Mummy and FNS able to get into the mix to find two. So it's a 4v3 situation. Spike making its way on. Mummy making sure that nobody rotates outside through tree. Spike planted. Mummy still holding the corner. Xset's defense is gonna wait, it looks like, for Thwaifo to get here. Aldron's coming through as well, spotting a couple. Food actually fails to get the kill to Ayla, who was blinded. That is a major mess up coming through from the MP side of things. Could have been oh. a free kill for Wi-Fi. We were waiting for the rotation. It comes in and it pays dividends. Still a 2v2 situation. MB still around. 1v2 now. It's going to have to come down to Mummy. He's won these before. Doesn't have any cloud burst. Has to play some. Is going to just right click. Okay, sends it straight through. Spamming onto the spike. Can't confirm the damage. And it will be weeded. It will be exit heading over to match point. Goodness. Heal to confirm some information, but Thwaifo can't find the eliminations. Now all of a sudden, here comes the rest of Envy as they push forward. Good turn ball. Food finds one. Thwaifo able to exchange his life. Not bad. But you would have loved to have gone kill for kill throughout all of that. So Mummy will get the plant off. Aver though is close by to try to contest this with ECJ. Right, she's lurking. The one thing, yeah, I was gonna say, the one thing they're missing is crashes in the long flank. Showstopper comes out, Aver finds another, but BCJ, as he deals with the flank, is tagged up heavily. It's just down to Mummy. 1v2 gets caught, Fury finds the kill. Hunter's Fury was there just in case, and that will be Xset taking this series. They eliminate.